Hi yogis, today's practice is going to focus on the back. So I'll invite you to start down on your belly, making sure you feel comfortable, feet wider than your hips, maybe give the hips a gentle rock from side to side and then resting your head down onto your hands or onto the mat. And taking a couple of nice deep breaths here, really allowing your entire body to relax. So no tension through the glutes, the thighs, the shoulder blades. Breathing into your belly and taking a moment to tune in to how your back feels today. Observing any points of tension. Observing how easy it feels to relax. And now gently begin to bend your knees so feet float towards the sky and then rock the feet from side to side. It's a really nice way just to gently start to release your back. And now slowly lower the feet back down. Press the tops of the feet into the ground. Lift your chest so you can slide your hands in line with your ribs. Inhale to gently draw the shoulders back, allowing the chest to float up and then exhale to release it down. So inhale, no pressure in the hands, just allowing the heart to lift as you press into your feet and then exhale back down. And again, inhale to lift, starting to feel some movement gently through the spine and exhale to release it down. Now bring the elbows underneath your shoulders, plant down into the forearms and your palms or option to walk the elbows a bit further away if your lower back feels quite tight today. So just see what feels best for you. So take a few breaths here in Sphinx Pose. So allowing the heart to move forward, you might feel a gentle compression in your lower back. Option to tilt your face towards the sky if you want to. And then breathing into the side body here. Now exhale, releasing the chest down to the ground, hands under your shoulders to push up onto your hands and your knees. Bring your knees underneath your hip bones, hands underneath your shoulders. We're going to take some half cat cows. So inhale, neutral spine, exhale, press the ground away and roll up through the spine. Inhale, come back to that neutral spine, so a flat back. And then exhale, press the ground away, pull the belly in and round up through the back. Inhale, neutral spine, and then exhale, press down through the hands, knees and feet, stretch out the shoulder blades and the spine. Inhale, bring yourself back to a tabletop. Now you can keep working there, or option if you want to, to inhale, send the heart and the belly forwards for cat cow now, as you exhale, press up and roll through the spine. So you have the option to inhale, drop the belly down as you send the heart and the tummy forwards and then exhale, rolling up through the spine, whichever feels best for you. One last time, inhale, lengthening forwards and then exhale, rolling up through the spine. Inhale, move back to a tabletop. Bring the base of your big toes together and wiggle your knees out nice and wide so you can sit back towards the heels of your feet. We're going to move into child's pose or balasana. So walking the hands forwards, just have a gentle rock from side to side. Make some space in the thighs and the hips and then exhale to release the head to the ground. I'm feeling some space here in the lower back, in your hips. Allowing your body to feel heavy. With your next inhalation, slowly walk the hands in towards you, rolling yourself up. Now bring your right leg forwards into a low lunge position. You could use blocks here to support yourself if that feels better. And really feel a nice stretch through the left hip and thigh. This can also help to release lower back tension. Option to stay here or inhale, take the arms to the sky and press into your feet nice and firmly to support your spine. As you exhale, you can rotate to your right side, open out through the arms and then inhale, bring it back through centre. Exhale, twist to your left side, stretch fingertip to fingertip. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale to your right side if that feels good for you. Inhale to lift and then exhale, twisting to your left. Inhale, taking the arms back up. Exhale, hands down to the ground. And then slowly start to draw the hips back. 
right toes to the sky, dropping your belly down towards the thigh. Again, you can support yourself on blocks just to stretch out into your hamstring. Now inhale slowly, we're going to start to move forwards again into a low lunge position. Draw the leg back so you can switch that over and bring the left leg forward. So grab blocks if that feels better for you to help to support your body. Feeling the stretch now through your right hip and thigh. And you can stay here with the hands on the ground for support. Or inhale, taking the arms up towards the sky, moving into Anjanasana. Press the feet into the ground. Option with your next exhalation, twist and look towards your left side, opening out palm to palm. Inhale the arms up. Exhale to twist, rotate to your right. Inhale to lift. Exhale to your left, draw the belly button to the spine. Inhale to lift. Exhale to your right. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hands to the ground. Again, shift the hips back. Left toes up to the sky as you straighten up through the left leg, belly down to your thigh, gently starting to ease open the hamstring, as tight hamstrings can also cause some tension through the spine. And now slowly start to move forwards again into your low lunge position, and then draw the hips back. We're going to make our way down to sit now, so bring yourself into a cross leg position, maybe bring a block or something underneath you for a bit of elevation if your hips feel tight. Inhale your right arm towards the sky, exhale stretch overhead, plant both sit bones into the ground. Inhale lift, exhale down. Inhale left arm to the sky, exhale taking it overhead. Inhale lift, exhale fingertips to the ground. Inhale right arm up. Exhale, taking it overhead. This time, inhale to lift. Exhale, draw the elbow in towards your waist. Inhale, taking it up. Exhale, overhead. Inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to waist. Inhale to lift. Exhale, nice long side stretch. Inhale it up. Exhale, hand to the ground. Inhale, left arm up. Exhaling it overhead. Plant those sit bones down. Inhale up. Exhale, elbow to the waist. Inhale it up and exhale, arm overhead. Inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze the elbow in. One last time. Exhale, overhead. Inhale, lift, exhale, hands to the ground. Now bring your right hand to your left knee and gently start to twist from your belly, your chest and then your shoulder to plant your fingertips onto the ground. Think about dropping your tailbone towards the ground so there's no arch through your spine. And looking over your shoulder. Exhale, twist through center, left hand to the right knee now. Again, opening from your belly, your chest, your shoulder, fingertips to the ground, chin parallel to the ground. Dropping down into your tailbone and your lower spine. And then exhale, twisting back through center. We're gonna make our way down onto our backs now, so however you feel comfortable, rolling yourself down. Hug your right knee into your belly, option to keep the left foot on the ground or extend the leg away from you. And then gently start to draw circles around with the knee and the hip. So massaging into the hip and just three or four in that direction. And then we'll switch sides and take it the other way around. So really working into the hip flexors. So we help to release any tension all the way up through to the mid back. And let's begin to switch legs now. So bring in the left leg in, extend the right, or bring the foot to the ground. And then start to draw those circles around. So massaging into the left hip socket, stretching into your right hip flexor. Again, just three or four circles in each direction. Now bringing both feet onto the ground, we're going to take a simple bridge pose. So take a breath in, exhale, pull the belly button in as you press your lower spine into the ground. And now inhale, press down into your feet, your hands and your head and gently start to float the hips and thighs towards the sky. Really press down through the whole foot. Feel your glute muscles and the backs of your legs start to work. 
just helping to release any tension from the lower back. And now with your next exhalation, rolling down through the spine. Hug both knees in towards your belly and gently rock from side to side. Keeping the knees drawn in towards you, drop the arms out wide and slowly drop your knees over to your right side. You can turn to look towards your left hand if you want to. If you need some support, you could pop a block or a cushion underneath your knees. Breathing into the left side of the body. And now inhale, slowly lift the knees back up through center and drop them over to your left side. Again, option if you want to, to turn to look towards your right hand, softening the knees into the ground, breathing into the right side of your body. As you inhale, lifting those knees back up through center. Bring the feet down to the ground, feet as wide as your mat, and then allow your knees and thighs to fall in towards each other as you rest your hands onto your belly. And we're going to stay here for a couple of breaths, focusing on breathing into your hands, staying present with your breath. Watching the hands lift towards the sky with every inhalation and drop back down towards your spine and towards the ground with every exhalation. And just staying here for as long as you feel comfortable now. Namaste.